Hey and Merry Christmas! This is gonna be my Christmas reaction video and I didn't have my usual intro music and you will see why. It's gonna be an outro. The surprise. So I want you to stick around till the very end of the video and in the meantime let's try to deal with some Frank, um, some hench herbivore He's just as crazy as Frank Tefano. Actually, he's, he's actually a little bit crazier. Let's hear some, hear some bullcrap spewing from Hench Herbivore's mouth now. I went to five of the UK's leading supermarkets to see who's got the healthiest vegan turkey alternative. First of all, turkey is healthy. If you want to eat turkey, eat turkey. It's meat. It's got protein. It's got fat. Not very much fat. I would recommend you add some hollandaise sauce or something like that, which is what I do because I freaking hit turkey. Otherwise, eat the skins. And then it's very, 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 very healthy. If you like the livers, eat the livers. I like the hearts. I like the hearts of the turkey. They're so good. Of course, I'm not claiming these to be health foods. If you want to be ultra healthy, I'd stick to the whole plant foods as they come from nature. But still, I think a lot of these are healthier than the flesh-based, murder-based alternatives. Oh, really? Something that's made in a lab is healthier than something that came straight from the animal to the table. Something that went through machines with chemicals added is healthier than something that just came straight from an animal to the table. Okay, that makes complete and total 100% sense. In fifth place, we've got Aldi's plant menu, no turkey crown with a cranberry and chestnut stuffing. Looks great. That sounds gross. I would never eat that. Even if it was actual, like a turkey based thing, I would never eat that. Cran I hated cranberry. I never liked cranberry at all. So, Yuck. Blech. At least you put it in fifth. Puh. So ingredients wise, the first really bad thing that stands out to me would be the carrageenan, which is a known gut microbiome disruptor. And yet you call it healthier than the meat version, which is just meat. Okay. Coconut oil. That drives the risk for heart disease worse than beef fat. Um, <laughs> wow, but yet it's healthier than the meat based alternative. Keep going, Hench Herbivore. Keep going. Try to convince us just how healthy this replacement actually is compared to meat. Okay, let's keep going. However, there's not a whole lot of it in here, but it's something I avoid point blank just to be safe personally. You avoid it, huh? I'm sure it's in all of your other meat replacements though, just so. Just, 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 just saying. I don't want to be dying of heart disease, thank you very much. Oh, but you could inevitably. It, it's almost inevitable because you eat a lot of canola oil. So, there's that. Of course, there's added salt, added sugars, it's gonna be... Probably not very much of it, but carbs do the same thing. Uh, and you eat a lot of nuts and things, and oats and seeds and stuff like that, that has omega-6 as well, so... Yeah, you're gonna die of heart disease because that's what omega-6s do! You know, in all of these. But not much other than that that really is a sort of red flag for me. Per 100 grams, you're looking at 214 calories. 12 grams of fat, which is pretty high per 100 grams. That's high? What? That is high? That's barely anything. Okay. Health implications aside, 12 grams of fat per 100 grams? That is high? <laughs> What? Wow. Wow. Talk about orthorexia. 2.9 grams of saturates, which is sort of moderate for these types of products. 
4.6 grams of sugars. Now that's not good. I think that was the worst one of the bunch. Um, not all of that is gonna be refined sugar, however, because you've got cranberries and things in there, so. You don't need sugars. All you need is fat and protein. There's no such thing as an essential carbohydrate. Get it right. You need to put that in mind. Protein 8.6 was one of the higher protein, but if you look at the protein versus fat ratio, you know, there's more fat than protein. So from a health and from a physique point of view, you know, I, I like to... You see, you see this? You see this? Orthorexic behavior right then, right now, right here. I think orthorexic behavior is more than just looking at the food labels. It's also obsessing over your looks on top of it. Because anorexics um, that become anorexics due to like, uh, oh, but I want to look like this. I want to look like that. That's, that's what they do as well. And I feel like orthorexics are in that same category. So it's more than just looking at the labels. It's also about, look at my physique. Look at how I look. Look at this. Look at me. Look at my body. Oh my goodness. To see the protein higher than the fat. And salt 1.3. This was the highest in salt. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let's take out salt, an essential mineral that you 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 don't really get much else. So let's take out the salt as well. It's not like you it's not like you uh, don't get anything else. Uh, you don't even get come on, you don't even get bioavailable nutrition, and yet you want to take out salt too. You know, some experts say that salt is the single biggest thing that we should probably drop out of the diet or, or minimize. If you're talking sodium, just plain sodium. Yeah, you want to add other things with it. You don't just want pure sodium and nothing else. You know, and there'd be a lot more humans walking there, walking the earth. In fourth place, we've got OMV, deliciously vegan, no turkey crown. I think this is Asda's own brand, correct? Gross. Again, I would never eat that. Even if it was turkey based, I would never eat it. Correct me in the comments if I've got that wrong. Um, so ingredients wise, you know, again, refined like white flour, you know, same old thing. There's going to be salt. There's going to be a bit of refined sugars. Uh, but the first thing that really stands out to me as a red flag is palm oil. Palm oil, like coconut oil, you know, it's long, very long chain drug. This one to drive heart disease like animal products do. Yet they're healthier than animal products. Okay. You're convinced they're healthier than animal products. So, I'm sorry about volume. I don't know what to do about it. Okay, I'm sorry. It is what it is. And if he's too loud, I don't know. I, I, if I had a compressor on my editor, I would use it. I don't know what to do for that. I want you to be able to see him though as well. So, uh, I don't know there. I don't know there. Again, there's not a whole lot of it in here if you only eat a bit, and the dose makes a poison, but it's just something that I avoid point blank because why risk it? Number one killer of humans is heart disease. Since when? Since we started adding what? Since the dawn of what? Agriculture. But, 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 but. What was the biggest thing we started incorporating? We were eating meat long before agriculture. Did we see heart disease in the people that were roaming the earth before the times of agriculture? No, and we were eating tons of meat back then. Once agriculture started, guess what we started eating more of? It wasn't meat. That's a huge hint. Emulsifiers, not good for the gut microbiome. Carrageenan, again. Flavoring, what is that? If it was something not terribly bad, it would tell you exactly what type of flavoring. So that's that's a bit of a red flag. Coconut oil, glucose syrup. Again, like they're towards the end of the ingredients there. So they- It's funny because he demonizes sugars and he demonizes fat. It's like rabbit starvation on the extreme end because he's also vegan. So like rabbit starvation 20 fold.
It, you can bet there's next to none of those, or you know, very little of those in there. So, you know, it's not such a concern as, as they come down in the list. So per 100 grams, you're looking at 231 calories, 14 grams of fat, so the most fat of any of these products, and 4.7 grams of saturates, which is the most saturates, so. This is crazy. It's just crazy. So you don't want any energy, just protein. Just like Alan Roberts, but at least Alan Roberts eats meat. That's the only thing I can applaud him for. Not great for the old ticker. Only 0.8 grams of sugars, 5.3 grams of fiber, which was sort of not too bad for this type of product. 7.5 grams of protein, which is quite high. But again, the protein to fat ratio is horrible. 0.9 of a gram of fat. This was joint second in terms of the most um, salt. In third place, we've got Morrison's Plant Revolution No Turkey Roast. So this is wheat, soy, and pea protein based. Blech. Blech. Gross. And it's got parsley and sage melt. So it's got this sort of Oh! Oh my god! Yuck. 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 I hate parsley. I hate sage. Yuck. Blech. Wow, that is disgusting. Sort of butter alternative. A cup, two or three of these had this butter alternative thing on the top. Oh my god. You're gonna actually make me throw up here. Like this is this is awful. And and you kind of add it in during the cooking process. So if you wanted it to be leaner and better for heart health, you know you could omit. You were in the hospital for a gallstone, Henchy. You were in the hospital for a gallstone. What is the gallbladder supposed to do? What does it do, Henchy? What is its purpose? You wouldn't have been born with one if you weren't supposed to eat the one thing to keep it functioning. If you, if we were no longer needing it, we wouldn't be born with it. So what is the purpose of it, Henchy? What is the, what does the gallbladder do? And then you'll know why. The very, 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 very reason you went into the hospital was because of the one thing that you don't eat to keep the gallbladder from malfunctioning, from like basically dying. Sit on that, please. That you would want to put some foil on, you know, part way through the cooking process so it doesn't burn on the outside. Yummy aluminum in your soy, wheat, uh, pea protein. Yum! Some Alzheimer's in there too. Right, um, but you know that'd be one way to make them, you know, far healthier. So ingredients-wise, the first thing that really pops out is the palm kernel oil. So like palm oil which comes from the fruit this palm kernel oil from the same plant it comes from the seed uh, it's those long and very long chain triglycerides again which like animal fats drive it's funny because i'm against palm oil for a completely different reason um i have looked into because a lot of the other i i get into these niches um the um orangutans the reason the orangutans are going endangered is because of the palm oil plantations. So, and there's like, there's so much demand for it that the rainforests are being cut down at alarming rates. It even showed the palm oil plantations uh, in a David Attenborough special that I looked at and I was just I was like wow I didn't think it would actually show it in his his special I'm trying to remember what special it was I think I don't know if it was one of his last I think it was like either his second last or his very last special I could be wrong on that I think it was his second last 
I can't remember the name of it though, his series. It was on Netflix. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying, I can't even remember the year it was released, but it was so sad to see. Um, the dis I, it had descriptions so I could even follow along and it said, it said that it panned and you could, the camera panned and you could see the, the vast emptiness of the forest and in its place was, was like, was like these trees of, like with palm fruits and stuff like that. So it was, it was really sad. Both heart disease, so again, there's not a whole lot in there if you're having a small dose, you know, a small amount of the dose makes the poison, but... Yeah, well, um, honey, you are vegan. You are not going to get anything meaningful out of the food you're eating. I just swerve it, like, why take the risk, I think. Maltodextrin, so another type of sugar, of course, got the salt that they all have. Um, emulsifiers, we don't really want to be adding in. So per 100 grams, 216 calories for 12 grams of fat, so that's on the high end. Interestingly, of which saturates 1.3. So although it's got a lot of fats, it's minimal. It's got the least of the saturates, so it's more heart healthy. Only heart if it's vegan, it's not heart healthy, just saying. Half a gram of sugar, so that's better. Lower in fiber though, 3.2 grams, and protein is quite low at 5.9. So, despite what I said earlier. So, it's all just junk. There's only 12 grams of fat, five grams of protein, and I don't, I forget how much sugar he said. So it's all just mess and junk. You don't, wow. About some benefits, if you need to eat twice as much of it, because proteins are concerned, then you're getting more of the negatives. So you've got to take that into account. 0.8 of a gram of salt was about the least in these products, but it is, you know, it's still high. And at number two this week, we've got Tesco Plant Chef, no turkey, crown, herb, and onion stuffing. Gross! Gah! Ugh! Yuck! I wouldn't. I wouldn't even tell my worst enemy to eat that crap. This one is broad bean flour and pea protein base. Ow! My bowels hurt just thinking about that. Just palm oil again. Obviously, salt. We're going to expect. It's got that carrot. I can appreciate vegans cutting out palm oil, okay? I can really appreciate that. Gene and coconut fat, aka coconut oil, dry glucose syrup. But again, like these are towards the end of the ingredients list, so probably there's not a whole lot which will be reflective in the nutritional information here. So per 100 grams, 218 calories. How do they think these things are healthier than, how? how? Like, when you think about it logically, like, how? When you learn just where these things are produced and how they're made, how can you possibly walk back the, oh, but it is healthier than the one from nature that gives you fat and protein and nothing else? I just don't understand how no one clued in. That just sounds like the most stupidest thing. Like, that's why I, I never really... I didn't get into this whole, like... This is healthier than that, and that's healthier than... I, I believe from the get-go that if it came from nature, it was healthier. But, like, I thought you had to eat everything. But, like, the thing is... There's people believing that these things are healthier than the thing from nature. I just don't understand. With all these all extra additives and all that crap, how can they possibly think they are healthier? At knowing that they have these additives. 13 grams of fat, so up the high end again. 4.1 saturates, which is higher than the average. 0.8 of a gram of sugar, so that's very good. 6.4 grams of fiber, which is pretty good. 7.7 .7 grams of protein, which is kind of the, the higher end there. But again, 0.9 grams of salt. 
And in first place, Sainsbury's No Turkey Clam with Sage and Onion Melts. Gross. Taste the difference. Again, you can swerve the melt if you want to make it a lot healthier. And a lot less tasty, probably. So, coconut milk. Normally, you know, I swerve coconut milk because, again, it's got the sack. It's better than palm oil. It's a long, very long chain, and maybe some of those are kind of cleaved from their fibre bonds. Um, but you'll see that the sat, total sat fat's pretty low, so probably, again, the dose makes the poison. Uh, you're full of poison, my friend. I know that because you had a gallstone. And it took you, like, you got super weak within a day of being in the hospital. You were super weak and had to go through like a therapy or something like that, didn't you? So, come on. Maybe that's not a worry in this case. If I have a lazy day one day, and I'm just lying on my bed or something, cause I still have days like that. It's not like, it's not that I can't get up and do something. It's just on that particular day, I'm just like, ugh. I'm just having one of those days, you know what I mean? I am not weak the next day to the point I can barely even get up out of bed. I'm actually like, oh, I guess I needed that because today I feel a lot better. Oh, sustainable palm oil. So that's apparently a load of old nonsense. The palm oil industry uh, is self-regulating and apparently all they need to do is to say that within the next 10 years they're working to make it sustainable. I actually kind of agree with that statement because I just, now granted, if I have my, if I allow myself a small treat, it might have palm oil in it. But am I going and eating it every day? No, because I don't really support it in the end. If they stopped using the palm oil, um, I, it wouldn't matter to me because it's not like I eat that stuff every day anymore. I don't, I definitely don't eat the, the actual intentionally vegan stuff. I don't eat vegan replacements. If it has milk in it, it has milk in it and I will eat that. You know, I don't care because either or I'm not eating palm oil every day. I don't support that industry, you know, in that I don't eat it every day. I don't think that it is good to support an industry that destroys so much forest that it it pushes beautiful creatures, very smart creatures too, out of their homes. They have nowhere to go and they'll be spending their days walking, walking, walking. Walking is not normal for orangutans. It is not. But they have no trees to swing on, so they're left in the open ground. Gr like, they're left to walk through the plantations. They don't have trees to swing on anymore. Sick. So, I won't fall for that nonsense. Coconut oil again, palm oil again. <laughs> you know, it is lower amounts because the next ingredient is salt and, you know, there's not going to be kilos of like salt in there. Sulfites, sulfites, so you know, they are not great for. And yet you put that in first place. Okay. Gut health, and that was the first one with sulfite, so. And it's got those emulsifiers, but despite that, I think on aggregate, I'd put this in first place as possibly the healthiest and the best in terms of. Yes, people, lab created food is way healthier than the stuff that comes from the ground and from the farms. Yeah. It's not like all the animal has to be, uh, has, all you have to do with the animal to get it edible is go one, and then it's killed, skin it, gut it, Put it on the table, there you go. Well, you can cook it if you want. If you like raw meat, eat raw meat. I'm not into the raw meat. I'll try it one day, 
But I don't live in a place where I can trust it. I don't. I don't trust it. I wouldn't trust it with a 10 foot, 10 foot pole, so. But uh, yeah, if you wanna eat raw meat, eat raw meat, you know. To each their own, right? Just, yeah. But this thing is healthier than eating meat, people. Uh, the effect on your physique, to be honest. Not everybody's thinking about their physique, you know. I don't think about my physique in the way that you do. Sometimes I get a little worried that I'm too thin. But that's about it. To be honest, it was quite hard to, to make the call between the five. Like, they're not all that different, really. They've all got their kind of pros and cons, and they're not they're not a million miles apart from each other. So if you've got to travel a million miles to get to, say, Tesco, but LD's around the corner, and it's just so much easier for you, like, I probably wouldn't worry too much. Of course... If you're not eating things every day that you know are bad for you, then why bother worrying about it? Do you really think that one time you eat this thing, oh my god, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna need to go to the hospital, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Dude, I don't stress if I have a Reese cup one day. I won't be like, oh shoot, oh no, I just had a Reese cup, oh my god. <laughs> and then have to go to the hospital because I'm having a freaking hyperglycemic episode, you know what I'm saying? Of course, these are not health foods, but... I had some chocolates yesterday. I was at my parents. I had, I had a peanut butter ball and a piece of fudge. I was at my parents. Live a little, people. If you had a massive plate of veggies, you know, and potatoes and... Homemade, except for the peanut butter balls, had some melted chocolate Easter bunny, which my mom said she's not going to do that again because I don't like the taste of it and she doesn't really either. She's like, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do that e again either. Yuck. Things with this, you know, it's going to be offsetting some of the harm to some degree and it's what... But yet they're healthier than meats, people! you do by and large day to day that is the important thing so do with that what you will if you want to optimize your health and body shape or sports performance head on over to and that's it for that that's it for that people Alrighty. now for my little surprise you ready for this you guys ready for this here we go.
i kapu u vaj. Na vaj no oja pa kele ak, i ka vaj o ka panini pua kea. Ha ina i a mai a na kapu ana, ka u hoi i ka nani o na pua. Ana kapuana kuku hoi kanani ona pua. A song for a famous flower. Can't live with them. Can't live without them. I was into Hawaiian a long time ago, and I learned how to play that. Uh, I was I learned about Israel Kamakamiho Ole. God rest his soul. He was amazing. He did the uh, the. Uh, let me just. That maybe you know that version of "Somewhere Over the Rainbow." He did that. Um, I got into his stuff. That was he. He was the one who did that song. Um, and I I love Hawaiian. I love the language. Um, I have some more, uh, I have two other signs that I know by heart. Um, some of the others I had to read the lyrics in order to sing. Um, but I have, I have several, I have, I can relearn some of my old Hawaiian songs. I have some other surprises in my little, um, I have some other little surprises up my sleeve that I can't wait to share with you guys. But right now, I thought I would just share a little extra something just as a kind of surprise to take some of the edge off this, you know, craziness of this channel. So I hope you enjoyed the little outro music and I will see you in the next video. Later guys and Merry Christmas!